provide some context for these upcoming clips. We arrived in Charlotte and before we went to the Airbnb, we stopped at this gas station just to get a couple things. I went inside and then I ended up coming back to the car forgetting something, so I went back inside. There's just some interesting individuals at the gas station, so. <laughs> that is well, so cool. The cashier in Spanish was saying how it's pretty and asking the dude and he was like, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're like. Why is it taking so long? Ew, like, so the pants! Stop, don't worry! What are you doing? Do I want to go back to you? Where's she going? No! Water. <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> ew, she bought me this. Ew, ew! Save our sister. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> Why does it take us so long? Get out of line. Literally, uh, Move. Like, what are you buying? The whole the whole store? Why is he still there? He's literally scared. I'm scared. Why is he still talking? Literally, bring her Get out. Get out of here. Why is he still like, what is he doing? Is he water, right? One yes, one water. Why is he sitting there too? Like, I'm scared. He, he definitely asked for a number. He <laughs> this time he asked how old I was. Ew! Dude, I heard like three minutes. <laughs> And it smells like clean here. Um, we made it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carl. Okay, guys, we're here. Hmm? Oh yeah. Yes. No. No. I want you to carry the bag, but I thought. You got it? Thank you, Josh. It's cute. I haven't gone upstairs yet. <laughs> right? It does. Right? Let's close this. so pretty really? these chairs are so cute is there a balcony oh my gosh it's a stop it that is so cute this is nice text my mom know you need it laundry room in there yeah it's a laundry room yeah it's like a whole That's laundry cute. room okay this one and this one it's like a three-story townhome um if the shows have soap and stuff um yeah you can show you which should they probably have white people conditioning <laughs> some panting little bathroom right here. Interesting. We have not talked all day. Actually all day. It's 11.43 p.m. right now. So, what? Can you unlock the door? Yeah. Is my, can you get my purple book bag out of there? Yeah. Thank you. So, my little sister, Karen and I are, we just made it to Charlotte, North Carolina. Super exciting. Yeah, we just finished driving here. I flew in earlier today and then it took about um, two hours and 45 minutes 
to get here. We just checked into the Airbnb. So it's the three of us tonight and then two of my brothers, Simi and Kobe and my mom are gonna be here. They're gonna be getting in tomorrow. And the main purpose that we're here, the main reason we're here is for a concert. And if y'all watch me, y'all already know who we're going to see. Yeah, there was absolutely no way I was going to miss this concert. And um, he's an artist that we all collectively like. So Tenille, Karen and I are going to the concert. And then my mom and my brothers are just kind of here. They're gonna be here for the experience. So, you know, we're getting some family time, but also we get to see Yeet. Yeah, so this Airbnb is super nice. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of settle in. I'm hungry. They are really slippery. This is so cute. It is. Can you airdrop me the video, please? Yeah, I forgot my phone. Don't want anyone looking in here. Thank you. I'm gonna take like the picture, post my story. as cold as I thought it was, but. I'm glad it's not that cold today. Yeah, that little whiff of breeze I got whenever you open that door made me question it, yeah. Okay, let me close the garage. <laughs> Can you hold this real quick, please? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It is, oh, directions? My hands, the ash. I don't know if y'all can see the ash, but. Hope not. It's ashing. What is it? Famous toastery.
I want to try one pull up. <laughs> For push ups. Okay. Wait. You can't zoom on this one? No, bro. Oh. Um, can I do it with my ring? Come on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> one. Yeah, absolutely. Not that <laughs> that's solid. That's, solid. that's good. That's good. Okay. I can do push ups. Okay. Right here? Push ups, yeah, push -ups are fun, pulls. though. I can that's do push ups. The but. Kobe does knuckle push-ups. I don't do those. Because oh, my, yeah, no. my wrists are messed up. Wait, so I, I really got to. Okay. <laughs> Not by choice. Wait, actually? Yeah. How many are we doing? Ten. Ten? Should we do ten? Sure. Why are we doing push-ups? Because you said it. You were like, Well, I was I just saying I can do them. Because oh. I can't do those. At least I can do push-ups. This is elevated, too. So that's cheating. You could, can you do 20? I know. Ooh. Try. Ew, was that a challenge? <laughs> Wait, my hair. Shit. Not competitive as he. Okay. This is elevated. Let's go. <laughs> Mom, slowing down. I you still, still got it. Whew, I'm out of breath. That one felt good though, because I haven't done shit in weeks. <laughs> weeks? Yeah. That was so easy. I know. I mean, huh? Like 15? Yeah. They're already slow. Whew. I walked up at all. I did that one uh, pull up. <laughs> Damn, I haven't even done a. Can I still do a pullover? There's six months at Nick's flipping kids. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm back. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'm trying to do a pullover. Why is Sammy doing it? Why, it's huge? Yeah. Wait, but how? I couldn't even, like. Oh, wait, because you gotta do that, right? And then. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> wait. Kip? <laughs> I cannot do a kip anymore. <laughs> that was like. Oh, I wanna yeah. try that. I've never done a kip. Okay. I can't even. I would have to do a pull up first and then. That one's lower. Would it be easier if it was a little bit lower? Yeah, because I'd have to do a pull up first. Ah! Oh. It's so weird. I feel so big now. I know. Compared to the <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you gotta get your hips up more. Wait, but is that cheating if I, like. Oh. Ow! Look, by all means necessary, okay? That's, that's where we're at. But if you I gotta kick get around momentum, so you gotta throw your legs up and your hips up. Oh, okay. Well, I could do it if I do that. Do it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ah! Oh God. There we go. Wow, well, I feel huge. <laughs> it's so weird trying to move all your. I was gonna say, not your ten-year-old body. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Look easy. I've seen someone do a hand muscle up. It looks so. 
Okay. okay. Nice. Damn. Yeah, boy. Okay. That's insane. Four. Okay. Oh, that was still good. That was really good, Kobe. Ten. No swing at all. I know. Never seen them before. Yeah. They have like. I don't know how messy my washing machine is.
Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, I have not said a single word this morning and honestly, it's been so nice. You know, I sent a couple voice memos here and there to friends and family, but besides that, I have not said a whole lot of anything. This is the Fenty Beauty, it's like her lip loving scrub stick. It's basically a lip scrub in a lipstick tube. Using perfumes and a lot of scents makes me sneeze and then it makes my allergies act up So I'm really hoping that doesn't cause anything to flare up But if I do sound a little congested for the next segment, that is why I've been loving exfoliating my lips You're removing all that dead skin and it just makes them so much softer Moisturize because this one moisturizes your lips at the same time. So it is the best of both worlds but you guys are going to be spending the next couple of days with me. It is Tuesday, March 21st already. I don't know if I'll ever get over how fast time has been moving the last couple of years, but I've been nonstop traveling and just on go this entire month, honestly. And this is pretty much the only week that I'll have where I'm just kind of doing my regular activities. I'm not going out every night. That's not an everyday thing. But I don't want to go out again. Yes. But over the last couple of days, I've really just been working out, spending time with my cats, cleaning, just running errands, things that I've been wanting to get done, which is also what we're gonna do throughout the next couple of days. I do leave out of town again Friday, and I'm actually going right back to North Carolina where I just left from, but this time I'm going to actually be staying in my hometown area, which is Raleigh, instead of Charlotte, which is where I was at previously for Yeet's concert, which was very, <laughs> very interesting, very eventful to say the least. But very uneventful at the same time because man's only performed for maybe 15 minutes. I'm sure you could seriously look up Charlotte Yeet concert and hear all about how that went down. But I wore my, my merch, my shirt I got from the concert yesterday to the gym as a pump cover. I sent it to my little... My little sister, she called it the trauma shirt. It was so much fun though. I really wouldn't. I mean, the only thing I would change is the amount of time that he was actually performing, but they had to shut it down due to safety concerns and people were breaking down barricades, passing out before the show had even started. Fights were breaking out. There was just a lot going on. When you have that many teenage slash, you know, young adult males, it's a very interesting dynamic. There was girls there too, but not nearly as much. I'm gonna go ahead and blow up my hair because this is kind of a priority right now. It's one o'clock, my appointment isn't until 2.30, but I have yet to get the hair because I plan to pick that up from a beauty supply store close to where I get my hair done because there's not one around here whatsoever. But yeah, I thought it'd be nice for us to just spend a little more one-on-one -on -one time the next couple of days and just kind of my regular routine. Yeah, I'm gonna blow my hair. I think I'm gonna do my lashes too, if I have time. Because, you know, then once I get my hair done, my lashes are already done. Yeah. This time change has not been in my favor. I actually really don't like it. And the time changed, I was actually out at a club with um, one of my friends, Hannah, and her friends for her birthday up in Orlando. And the club closed at 3. And the way that the time just shifted so quick to 3 a.m. was crazy. And at first I was so confused because I was drunk and I wasn't really thinking about, oh, daylight saving. And I feel like ever since that day, I've just been playing catch up to, you know, keep up with how fast time feels like it's flying. The fact that it's 1 and it would be 12 right now, we lost an hour, that just really... And the fact that time already feels like it's flying... I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get used to it. I still have my alarm or my clock in my room set to the previous time. And I find myself, you know, convincing myself sometimes, well, you know, normally, you know, if I wake up at 10.30, normally it would be 9.30. Um, how long, how long are you gonna be in denial? Because that's not socially acceptable. Yeah, so I just decided to wake up early this morning, get things done, kind of feel like I'm at least ahead with the time because I was not, we were not feeling that.
I hate being hot when it's unprovoked. So in that case, the only time it's acceptable is when I'm at the gym, working out, busting a sweat. That's intentionally sweating. But now that my hair is blown out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes. So, so this is before after for this set well i always use the kiss falscara but then i used these lashes that are in my amazon storefront i have two different types linked in there because i like to use two different types but i've been really liking these for a more voluminous and fluffy russian type of look i love how these look i feel like they look even more identical to eyelash extensions so all of that is done also these nails right here are press on nails they, oh, there's a hair. These are the best press on nails I have. I mean, I've seen some really nice press on nails, but on myself, these are, yeah, I'd say these are a step up from the Kiss um, false nails. If you're looking for nails that look like you actually sat at the nail salon for hours, these are so cute. And I love the length and the shape. I didn't have to, um, you know, shape them, trim them or anything like that. 37 minutes away, there is some traffic. So if I were to leave right now, it would get me there at 205. Yeah, I actually need to leave now because I want time to stop at the beauty supply and I don't want to be rushing. I think I'm going to bring this camera to film maybe my hair appointment when, when I'm just sitting down. But for actually vlogging, especially in the car, I'm going to bring my Sony ZV-1. I got a lens attachment, like a, yeah, another lens for it because this camera's got me so adjusted to a wider angle that this one was just way too up close for my liking so this i think helps with that so i'm gonna bring this mm, i have a pimple right here i'm gonna put a mighty patch on it look at this little light i have it's more for like pictures but it actually mm -hmm. is pretty bright oh yeah it is <laughs> yeah it actually makes a difference i, use it. I haven't used it for pictures yet so I'm so happy. It's crazy how much your mood can shift just depending on, like it's a very easy shift sometimes just depending on your mindset and your situation, if that makes sense. Like I was just so irritable and not feeling it. And the moment she was done and I saw my hair and I knew I could leave and go get food because that's another thing I'm hungry. I am just ecstatic. But yeah, the doll's hair curl never misses. Um, Actually, whenever I was in there, pretty much any time I visit and have an appointment, she tells me how new people had come in that found her through me, which I think is so cool. Yeah, anyone that I get serviced by does amazing work. So I was just super happy to hear that. Like, I know y'all's hair looks good. I'm about to, honestly, today, Okay, the one thing I do like about this time change is the fact that it is 7 p.m. and it's still light outside because if it hadn't, you know, it would have already been dark and that would have just made it feel like the day was already over because I was in that chair for about five hours. Also, I did get my hair longer this time around, so I leave my phone in the trunk because <laughs> I don't see it and I just had it. no idea where it is it's just gone like i just oh it's in the crack okay tropical smoothie it is my apple or my maps on here hasn't been working for days and once i connect it to my car it doesn't work 
so I'm gonna look it up on here but yeah guys I know to you it may not seem like I've been really you know busy this month just because I only filmed probably 50% of it sometimes I had planned to document it but then I just didn't end up getting enough footage or I know in this video I'm going to include my footage I got from Charlotte it's just not gonna be a video on its own due to the lack of footage that I got but I still think it's good footage that I would love for you guys to see I love the way my hair looks I've only had this hairstyle one other time but I got it with it was like a dark brown and an ombre to um, a reddish burgundy color but the all black will always be for me it just looks so sleek and nice I forget this camera's crazy and it's gonna just focus on the steering wheel we're gonna talk on the ZV-1 because I can actually set this up in the car I love Sony okay nothing behind me um okay but yeah starting when did Paige get here was that March 3rd yeah Paige was here from March 3rd to the 5th which I talked about in my last video I think and then Karen visited from the 7th to the 10th and I think I had a day in between and then I drove up to Orlando for my girl Hannah's birthday and throughout the span of all of these events you know we weren't just sitting doing nothing we were going out sometimes we wouldn't get home till three four in the morning so yeah and then pretty much as soon as i got back yeah i left the next day for north carolina and whenever i arrived in raleigh drove to charlotte that night yeah i came back home i'm here for less than a week and then i go back to north carolina because i'm going to be seeing delaney for her 21st birthday and i'm so excited there was just absolutely no way I could miss her 21st so yeah that's really what I've been up to the last couple of weeks so why are we going 15 miles I was wondering why I came back and the camera was off it was because it died and thankfully I brought two but I'm back in the car from tropical smoothie and my go-to is a chicken chipotle club with no tomatoes I get the jalapeno chips or banana depends on how we're feeling and the kiwi quencher smoothie fan fantastic I will never drop this camera day in my life it is just I think I have about a 35 minute drive home, which, well, that's about what it is without traffic. Whenever I was trying to leave earlier, saying a smooth 50, so, so that's way better. Okay, we're gonna get there at 8.08. At least my bonnet stayed on though. This is my first time talking since I woke up, so I'm gonna sound a little <clears throat> raspy. But, um, good morning guys. Right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I slept way later than I thought I would, um, which makes sense um, considering the time I went to sleep. But um, now I don't have a lot of time whatsoever before my dermatologist appointment, which isn't gonna be long. I don't really plan to get ready for that or anything. I'm just gonna shower. I ran out of Nespresso pods, so can't even make coffee. Anyways, I woke up this morning and one of my eyes was glued shut. Um, like I could not rip it open because of the lash glue. I knew it would because it's not super glue or anything, but that was about the most sealed shut. <laughs> my eyes bent, cause that's happened before, but it's never been to that extent. But I'm actually gonna wash my face to get this excess glue off. Why am I still in bed is the real question. It's literally 10.04 and my appointment's at 11. It's already. Oh. It's only 13 minutes away, but still, I'm gonna make my bed. <sighs> That's how you know you slept, dude. Oh shit! I wanted to shower. Do I even really have time for that? I don't have time to do anything. I'm not dirty. I could just shower when I get back. I don't. That's how I jeopardize my own time and stress myself out. Hey. No, you're completely fine. But good morning. Can't open half of them.
My Nespresso pods will be here tomorrow, it says. So, until then, actually I could make matcha. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready right now. And I've had this top that I got off of Depop a while ago that I never knew, I never knew what to wear it with. And all I've ever had is high-waisted jeans besides when I was probably little. I didn't feel like this top looked good with my jeans that go up to here. I just felt like this is the type, these are the type of jeans that it would look good with. But I need a belt. I was gonna order this one belt I got recently. This isn't gonna match. I was gonna order it in white because I know that a black belt isn't gonna match with anything, with everything. But also I feel like even these two darker tones, I don't normally mix this dark of a shirt with this washed pants. But Right, guys so update i'm done with my dermatologist appointment um it went really well and what i'm dealing with they've seen progress like i'm 50 percent healed which is good i'm just dealing with like a skin condition left untreated for some time because i didn't realize the severity of it so i finally decided to get it looked at and um yeah so i'm being treated for that i'm about to get gas because i have None and then we're gonna get something to eat because now it's 12 p.m. And I've yet to eat anything definitely not like me and I didn't eat my protein bar either I just wasn't feeling it. My only choice would have been to eat it in the waiting room and I just That's just not what was done. Oh, there's a gas station right there, too These are very not awkwardly placed, but how I'm leaving it's kind of challenging to yeah, I just need to go across like this man's doing yeah, I was I'm the type of person where no matter what time it is, my first meal, I normally like it to be breakfast food. I just feel like it's easier on my stomach and that's just how I like to start the day. But now that it's 12, I mean, I guess, where was I? I swear I just decided on somewhere. Where was I gonna go? Oh yeah, I wanted to go to Pura Vida. They have one closer to my area. That's one of the places that Paige and I visited whenever we were just visiting. But yeah, I'm gonna go there. Bring your key whenever you're getting gas so no one can drop it off your car. Okay, to Pure Vita we go. Like you're fine. Okay, so I just got into a parking garage so I could at least, you know, park to get where I want to eat. Even on a Wednesday, it's 1 p.m. packed. Cannot find anywhere to park. Um, I normally don't park, but we found a parking garage, so it's all good. Really excited to eat though. I think I saw they had avocado toast. I kind of want that. I've had their acai bowl before, and it's okay i don't think it's worth the price but they have a green juice there i want to get so i think instead i'm gonna get like an avocado toast and some to sort of pastry or something Y'all saw me get my ticket. I just paid for it and I get a ticket for $46 on my windshield when I get back. I don't know, well, you would think, okay, maybe I should have left this in the car so they knew. First of all, how would I get in here without getting a ticket and also like one of these to leave? And also they tell you to bring it with you so you can pay at the machine before you, I'm gonna ask about that. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, but I got a ticket, but they gave me a ticket on my windshield. Okay, you gotta read why. What is the ticket? Well, it on says the bottom. The comments. What is it? EV or hybrid vehicles only less than fourteen feet. Oh, maybe my car was too big in my spot. Huh? Never mind. It's okay. Is hybrid parking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
your vehicle is hybrid or not? No. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. <sighs> okay, that makes sense at least. I parked in the wrong spot, so that's my fault entirely. I wasn't thinking about it. I thought I was just parking for cars that weren't huge. I want to get my car wash next, but it's 2 p.m. and I have someone coming to build a dresser for my room at 3, so that's definitely pushing it. Sometimes I could take over an hour. So I'm just going to head home from here, and then we can always go back out afterwards, which I'll probably do. But honestly... Look at the, you see that, right? Yeah, it needs it bad. Also, a little review on the place that I just ate at. So that's the second time that I've been there. The last time I had gotten a whole, I don't know, some type of tuna bowl or something, but I had got um, an almond croissant, which was very mediocre. I wasn't going to a fresh pastry shop, so I wasn't holding it to that standard, but it was just cold and, you know, it was okay. I'm actually gonna turn. Well, yeah, that was okay. And then I also got um, a veggie omelet with some turkey bacon on the side and some arugula, which I ate just because I need to eat more vegetables personally. But uh, it was good. And then that smoothie I got, the green detox, it was some type of green smoothie. That was terrible. And I'm normally one that likes smoothies and juices like that. But it was very tart, which is fine, but it was also really bitter. And I was trying to put into words what it tasted like. And it tasted like a Bath & Body Works candle. It very perfumey. I didn't really... I didn't like it at all. So I went and got a drink that I actually liked that's still green. This is a green apple slushy with boba. But yeah, you know, at least I'm fed. Thankful I was able to pay for my meal. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home and chill until um, Mr. Man gets here to help me build my dresser. I need to get it out of the mail room anyway. So that gives me time to do that. And then I'll show you guys a before and after what it looks like. Honestly, as much as this car needs a wash too, I have a white car and a black car, which are the two cars that get dirtiest the fastest, or you can see the dirt on them the quickest. As much as I want to get this car washed, because this is my daily driver, so I use it more, um, I think I'm going to get the Mustang washed because I need to take it to the dealership I got it from tomorrow morning, and it's it's just really dirty. I don't want to bring it there like that, although it doesn't matter. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah, not long ago when I was out, I was going out with Karen, I'm pretty sure 100% left my car key in there. And you're be like, why would you bring a car key if you're taking an Uber? I don't know. I still like to take my keys with me. Just, I don't know. It makes me feel better. Thankfully, I didn't, I had taken some things off of my keychain first, so I didn't bring the whole thing. But I pretty sure I left it in there. So my Mustang key, my key fob for my apartment, and my mailbox key were lost. I tried to get in contact with him, as you can do through Uber. He never reached back out, so there was nothing I could have done. So I got a new key, both new keys. That's been done. But and I have a spare key for my Mustang as well. But for some reason, that key, it's almost like it's programmed just for test drives or something because whenever I use that key, it doesn't let me, I swear it doesn't let me drive the car nearly as fast as it can go. And then also the volume, you can only go up halfway. It's so weird and it's only with that key. So I'm going in tomorrow morning. That dealership's in Fort Lauderdale, so it's like 45 minutes away. And hopefully I can get a new key so I can drive that car as frequently as I would like to. I could drive with the other key. I've never lost a spare key before. I always, you know, if I'm trading in a car or if I'm, you know, I've always been able to give both keys. So that was a mistake on my end, but it happens. I'm really tired, honestly. I went to bed around two and the last couple of days, I've just been completely okay with taking a nap. Like I should, I would not mind taking a nap. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see what time he's done building my dresser. He's very efficient and quick and just, it's straight to the point so i'm not worried about that okay guys so i'm back at the house now and i stopped at the mail room before i came back inside and i had quite a few packages some off of amazon and i also got this fashion nova package i was trying to think of a website where i could order something that's guaranteed to actually come faster when you pay for express shipping because i recently did that with white fox and i swear it came slower than it did with regular shipping so i ordered from them because i wanted some dress options for Delaney's birthday because I don't really have dresses that are in between stripper for the club and like just really casual skims dress. I didn't really have anything in between. So, oh, you don't have to be on mute either. You're fine. I won't face something with my mom. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to find a little more, like just a little more modest, but still, you know, sleek and sexy. Cute. I don't know. <laughs> so I got two black dresses, which is always my go-to. What? I'm just tracking up. Oh. Good. No, you're fine. 
Um, okay, so this first one, ooh, this is cute. Oh, sorry, the blanket is like covering it, but it kind of has these ruffles down it with the V. Oh. That's cute, right? That looks really cute. I feel like this would be nice. And I got both of these in a medium, so we're gonna see. So I got that one that we're gonna try on, expectation versus reality. Because with Fashion Nova, you never know. And then I also got this dress, which is kind of a t-shirt look with the V-neck. It's really similar actually, but this one has the scrunch, yes, it, scrunch nice. on the side. So try on. Yes. Yeah, this is literally perfect. That is really pretty. Yay, it's thank you. Yeah, it's really comfortable. It's not, it's really not tight. That's great, that's really nice. Yeah. It is, right? But yeah, this is the first dress. Yeah, that's very, that's really cute. 21st birthday vibe. And then, um, this one's cute, but it's definitely not, I don't, well, it's cute, but to me it feels more Sunday brunch vibe, maybe something really chill. This is just going around. But that's great. Like, that's a really good one just to have. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm just glad they actually look how they did on mine. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I'll do an Amazon unboxing. Amazon unboxing. Okay, so I got four packages off Amazon. But the first thing that I got was a, this is the torch lighter thing, blow torch. So I got this. this oh my God. Looks wow. scary. Well, I know it advertises it for cooking okay. you know for like creme brulee and stuff like that i have no idea how to use this shit honestly it didn't even have to be to this extent but how else am i gonna like this wow. with a baby ass lighter no that is crazy yeah hi baby i'm gonna read directions before i even try to touch that thank you that would be good <laughs> that's scary looking next thing oh yeah i was looking for this this is a organizer for my shoes i just put on my door that we would have when we were younger because I have them all in that closet right there. But the only shoes I really want to keep in the in the closet there are ones I don't really care about. But I don't want to have like my nicer shoes with, you know. I just don't have. Everything's always come handy. I feel like they do. So I'm excited about this. We could do this probably today. It's like vacuum sealed, but pretty fun stuff. <laughs> and then this one is. I don't know. It's so fun. It's like Christmas. You're right. Um, let's see. Oh, these are sunglasses that I ordered. Nice. Like fashion glasses because I don't even think they'd help with light, but. But they look damn good. So. Right? They're so cute. Look at them. Yeah. yeah, those are super cute. Oh, they're cute. And then this last thing, I think this is a fake plant for my living room. Because, yeah, I have nothing on that TV stand. It's empty. Okay. So I just want to spice it up a little bit. Listen to it. It doesn't sound good. Oh my gosh, it's making a mess, actually. It's not good. I'm kind of scared now. So you have to like put the leaves up. It's sad. <laughs> it's wilted. Um, it's like a fake snake plant. Cool though. Yeah. I don't know why it's so sad. It has like some height to it. Right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be this big actually. Very nice. Okay. Yes, it's just so messy. I don't know if that's trying they're trying to add to the realistic feel or what, but there's sand everywhere. Hi guys, it is um, 1 a.m. I'm currently just getting ready a little bit to get in bed, nothing crazy, because I showered before I left and I'm not showering again. I'll probably do that in the morning, but I'm kind of bonded now. I'm just gonna tie my hair, brush my teeth, and just snack before bed. I'm probably gonna eat ice cream. I have a stomach ache, like I have gas, because I waited too long to eat. That happens, like, even once I already eat, that's when it gets annoying. Um, And I, like, don't have gas sex, so. It's okay though. I think if I eat a little more, I'll be good. Although I'm the one that edits my con- Oh, I put it in the sink and it's wet. Even though I'm the one that edits my videos, like I could strip naked for the camera, but if I decide that I want to edit in public, I don't want to forget that I did that and 
titties on display, you know? So maybe here and there if I'm feeling lazy, but I like to film my videos as if I'm gonna have someone else editing them. Just cause I don't like to edit at home all the time. And then not only that, my laptop screen is huge. There's a 13 inch MacBook and a 16 inch. I have the 16 inch, so it's huge. Um, so with that being said, the screen is a lot bigger. I forgot I had this perfume and I love it, or it's a fragrance mist. Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. I used to wear this a lot when I was like 17. And it smells so good, it's so sweet. I tried to get it again the last time I went, but you know how they do, I don't know, they mix it with something else and it doesn't smell good anymore. I actually don't like my phone on Do Not Disturb because I always want to see what my friends have to say. Like I don't, I want to be disturbed. Please catch me. It just automatically does it. Oh, also we watched Scream 6. See, I really can't, well I didn't really, I. Have I ever watched this? I feel like I've watched a screen movie before, but definitely not all of them. And I don't know if this last one correlated to the other ones in any way. I'm assuming so, but um, it was okay. I forgot that Jenna Ortega was in it, but I liked that because I like her. All right, guys, I'm gonna charge you guys. This battery's at 4%. It's so weird. It shows the battery percentage as if it's a phone. I was sitting with my cats outside on the balcony because I wanted to let them out before I left, but I couldn't because I was leaving. So they're getting their fresh air now. We were all hanging out there, but I want ice cream. Let me put a different battery in here though. wash my car what goes through their mind when they see these masks in the back i don't know if y'all can see them so i hope you can hear me from here but the reason i'm up this early well, first of all, I'm going to Chick-fil-A breakfast because I have not eaten this morning and I, you know, the furthest I got into cooking this morning was the moment I opened the dishwasher to take my pots out or my pans out, my pans out that I was going to cook with and I realized I didn't run the washer. I I wasn't having it. I was not washing dishes that early in the morning. So I just decided to get Chick-fil-A breakfast. So we're all the way there now. It's only 10 minutes away and then straight from there, I'm going to head to the dealership that I got this car from and do what I had mentioned um, yesterday. So... Yeah, that's the plan. This car with this key will physically tap out if I go over 65 miles an hour. It's so weird. It happened yesterday. Okay. I'm not a fan. First of all, sometimes the speed limit is 70. Near vehicle top speed. I'm going 60. Hi, um, Ashanti. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Put these in the cup holder. Iced coffee from Chick fil A and an orange juice. I just rolled down my window and rolled it back up and it's still wet from when I got it washed yesterday. Because normally after you get your car washed, you should wait a little bit to roll down your windows. Or I don't until probably the following day to avoid that from happening. And it still did. It's weird. And I'm getting there at 1032, which is perfect. It's my ne not my Nespresso, but it looks super good. And my Nespresso pods are supposed to come in today. Ew, now it has like... Can't see it, but I can. To provide the very best service, this call may be recorded. 
these clips are so boring and uneventful just to save you guys some time i ended up going to the dealership that was about an hour away they weren't able to help me because they're not a designated ford dealership went to the ford dealership i would have had to wait hours in the waiting room there so i just plan to go back another day to get a new key get it programmed for my car and everything like that it's just not I don't think y'all care to see that. I am on my way back home now. I have a 49 minute drive home and I accomplished absolutely nothing today. All this information could have been done through the phone. So I could have slept in, stayed up later and um, yeah, but you know, it's okay. The way my mind works, I was just supposed to be here at this time for whatever reason, even if it saved my life or something, I just feel like. And it's a pretty day. I don't mind driving. But, um, yeah, there was no way. Well, they didn't tell me over the phone that the wait was going to be anywhere from... They said at the most it could be two and a half hours because they have other cars in front of me. And that's cool. Like, I understand. But I just wish I would have been told that before once again. Men are just not the best at communicating. And I shouldn't have to ask every single question for that information to be, you know, shared. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, they told me it's best to come in in a morning of course so i can be the first car serviced so he just gave me his card so i can call to schedule that but i have absolutely no time to do that before i leave for to go out of town again which is tomorrow so that's fine because i'm gonna drive the bins later anyways um i'm also gonna go get the other car washed because i wanted to do that yesterday and i didn't have time so yeah now i just have a few hours i'm gonna get home at 12 30 and then i have plans at four so between then i'll just i know i'm gonna clean get my car washed i need to check the mail room again too because i realized there's multiple packages that were in there that i missed yesterday but yeah, I mean, I guess it's good to have this key. So if I do, for example, get my car valet or anything, you know, you give them that key. So they, it's really for that for the most part. So, you know, they can't race your car or do anything crazy with it. But I mean, I get my car valet probably once every six months. So just the consequences of my actions. It's crazy how much wider this lens makes the camera. It was so up close, basically up my nose before so cool but yeah i'm just gonna for the rest of the way drive home with my windows down and my music at 14 because it's as high as it will go then i won't even be able to hear it with the windows down but it's okay it's a great day i already set my intentions for the day in my little five minute journal so i am feeling good <laughs> I ripped all my lashes off and then the excess glue will kind of be everywhere so I don't mind that because I have not washed my face yet it is what it is <gasps> this will wake you right up good morning right now it's nine o'clock and um I had an appointment at eight 
a.m. and I slept through it accidentally. So I called them as soon as I woke up and um, just apologized. And they just gave me a later time I could come because I'm just not reliable to come at 8 a.m. I'm really not. If I have not been waking up that early and going to bed at a solid enough time to wake up at that specific time for at least a couple days, it's just not even realistic. Yeah, but it is Friday. I actually leave today to go to North Carolina. I cannot believe I'm already leaving again. But I'm happy that I filmed the last couple of days before I left. It's been a really good last couple of days. Good way to leave things off until I get back. Yeah, I did not go to bed last night until 4 or so, which is terrible. But I was kind of tired around 1.30 or so, and then I wasn't anymore. I was on FaceTime at like 3.30 in the morning, so... All those things led to just not really waking up at the earliest time. So my flight actually does not, I don't depart until 9.30 p.m. So I still have pretty much all day. The appointment I had for my car today was really the only obligation. So with that being said, I didn't have anything else I had to do today, which is good. So I should edit and I'd also love to go thrifting. I've really started to slowly, not transition, but just find a look. A style that I like to wear but I don't have many bottoms that kind of match that style I don't know I'm excited to branch out I'm kind of getting tired of having half my stomach in my pants I don't mind it for some like, like some outfits and occasions but I actually like the low-rise look and although they have a lot of pants like that on Depop and online I just don't trust buying jeans i have not tried on unless i know the brand the size and i already have a pair so yeah maybe we'll do some thrifting today and i can actually go in with exact intentions on what i want normally i just go in looking for t-shirts and um no now i have an actual style i'm trying to accomplish but this shirt is actually from um a salvation army that my family and i went to whenever we were in charlotte that was definitely the best secondhand store i've ever been in they had such a huge collect selection i got so much stuff that's where i got the pair of low-waisted jeans i was wearing the other day this feels so good <laughs> here address i'm here with jabba the hut say hi jabba ewok um, I have a couple Amazon packages that I was gonna hold off on until I received the last home upgrade package that I'm waiting for, which is another area rug. But yeah, these are fake eucalyptus plants that I got for some bases that I ordered for my TV stand as well, just to spice it up. There's actually a lot of these in here. Cause I have other bases that are on my hanging shelf up there that have nothing in them, but I didn't really mind how they looked alone. I think I should definitely have extra, and if I do, I'm gonna put them up there because I'll look really good. Be really dusty. Two bases. I love these bases off of Amazon. I actually these are round, but I have the square and rectangular one up there. Same exact style, just a different shape. So yeah, this one, so pretty. And this one, which is more oval. I don't know, I just like the look of eucalyptus and I like the more muted green. I think it looks pretty and decorative. Like, I don't really need more than that. Do I? And I still have so much left. It's like having kids toys everywhere. Then we have this one. Yeah, I definitely have enough. That's perfect. It's so cute. These two plants don't really match each other at all, but I really don't care. I want a cord cover for this, but the thing is, it's plugged into an outlet that's behind my TV. That's where the outlet is here. So I'm just gonna have to tape it down back there. I'm gonna do that today probably because it looks really bad. It's bothering me. I'm gonna dust this. Mm, no, no. I'm gonna switch them back again. Look at the opening for this vase. I've never seen that before. Uh, it goes so... I don't like that. They look good in here. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. I'll probably just not put anything in them because I don't want to just put it in one and, and that looks stupid. All right, you guys. So this pretty much concludes the end of this video. Although it is an abrupt ending, 
the video is an hour and some change so i feel like that kind of makes up for it the rest of the day i don't even know what i was doing to get me to the point where i was rushing by the time it was time to go to the airport on my flight it actually got delayed to 10 30. so i was trying to order my uber that evening and they were having a hard time finding my building i had to order three different ubers so i was on the brink of tears at this point i did not want to record being on camera was the last thing i wanted to do but with that being said that is going to be the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i apologize for the delay in uploads i've been extremely busy this month but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this made up for it a little bit I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.